Hello and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial series on how to create a simple mobile game. In the previous video we started by creating this uh, basics of the spawner because it's, it's not completely it's not completely done yet uh, but we had some uh, basic uh, game object creation and a little bit of scripting. Now in this chapter we're going to let our brains rest from the code and work a little bit with some art assets. Now our scene looks pretty sad and lonely, so let's let's start by adding some art assets in here. And for that, I already created a package with art assets that you're going to need to keep following along this tutorial. Now there's a couple of ways that you can access the asset store. The first one, and I guess the, the simplest one of them, all of them, is by accessing right here from the Unity editor. And you do you do that by clicking on Window and Asset Store. Now uh, we're gonna let this load for a bit because my inter internet is being a little bit slow. Now the second way is by going into your favorite web browser and searching on Google or whatever other search engine you like. Bing maybe? Yeah, right. Um, just search for Unity Asset Store. And look at this, this is the first one. And as you can see, it opens the main Unity Asset Store, which looks a lot like the one on the actual editor. Now in my case, I'm gonna do it all here in the editor. Uh, you do have to have an account in order to uh, download the assets, I believe. Uh, but it's pretty simple. It, it wouldn't take you longer than, I don't know, a couple of minutes to do it. So in my case, we're gonna download two packages. The first one, you need to type in my name, Remy Storms, and bam. There's a couple of assets that I, that I have uploaded. And the one you're looking for is uh, called Bumps and Veggies Tutorial Package. Uh, it's completely free. Currently it has three stars, which is sad. So if you can give it five stars, that would be amazing. So just click on that one. And here you can see an overview of the package and a preview of everything that's inside the package, like uh, sound effects, prefabs, uh, I don't know, sprites and models. So just click on import because we're going to need the entire um, package. And it's going to tell you that you are importing a complete project. And yeah, don't worry, it's not going to destroy uh, whatever we already have. So just click on import and give it a couple of seconds and again it will show you this screen in which you can see again all the contents of the package in case you don't want uh, let's say the models uh, you can just click on the folder and uncheck everything uh, but in our case we do need everything so make sure you click on everything click on all and then import now give it a couple of seconds well, it imports. Now, if you prefer to download it from the actual um, web browser, I'm gonna leave the the link in the description in this video description so that you can uh, check it out later on and download it so that you can, you can follow along. It's pretty much the same process. You just click on import and it will open Unity for you. So it's pretty simple. It's almost the same. Uh, process. So now we can see that we have our project, uh, sorry, our uh, new package imported, the one that contains pretty much all the art assets that we're going to need. But that's not everything. We also need to import a package that I use uh, very often, and it's called iTween. It's an amazing um, plugin, it's, al it's also free from pixel placement. So just click on the first uh, iTween icon that you see. Again, it's pretty simple to use. 
because that's what we want. Uh, as you can see, it's the same process. You just click on the assets as you want. Now, in my case, I don't really need the sample Unity scene, so I'm going to uncheck that and then import. And that's it. As you can see now, we have our packages imported and ready to start using in our project. And that's the same for every package that you import. And let's see, uh, I'm just going to show you very quickly before we cut this video. Uh, let's go to with the surprise box because that's the one we're going to use in the next video. So as you can see, this surprise box is an FBX. It's a model that contains the mesh information as well as the animations. And if you're curious about this, this uh, assets, you can just uh, take your time and check each one of them. Uh, we have music, prefabs, um, textures, and, and obviously models and animations. And of course, you are uh, welcome to use this. Uh, you're free to use this uh, assets in any other project that you like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.